and by the way, as a side note, it's very, very unnatural to consume this concentrated, refined oil from seeds. And it's hidden in your dressing that you use on your salad. You're going to get it in fast food restaurants. In fact, you're probably going to get it with any restaurant that you go to. Also, it's in animal feeds. And if they feed the chicken this grain, omega-6 fatty acids, you're going to get a profile that's pretty high in omega-6. This also includes eggs. Okay, eggs might be high in the omega-6. This also includes pork. This also includes grain-fed beef. Now, why is this so important? Because I have data, which I'm going to do a separate video on this, that shows that consuming these oils to avoid those if you want to lose weight. And so this, all right, so number two, consume a very large salad, tiny. All right, number three, we want to produce some really deep ketosis. So when you test yourself for ketones on a blood test, there's a certain reading that can tell you how deep or how much ketosis you're in. Just by getting on a ketogenic diet is not going to do it alone. There's two other things you have to do. One is called intermittent fasting, okay? Now, I have a lot of videos on this, but very simply, I'm going to recommend you do one meal per day. And this will give you 23 hours of fasting. So not only is this going to be very powerful into causing your body to adapt to running on fat all day long, but you'll have so many other benefits. Cognitive improvements, uh, mood changes, um, reduction of inflammation. And by the way, when you get off the seed oils, you're reducing inflammation way, way down. You have to realize that inflammation from seed oils triggers insulin resistance. It destroys your metabolism. It makes things slower. So doing the intermittent fasting, okay, you're actually correcting insulin resistance with the help of the lowering of carbs, with the change in the type of fat that you're consuming. So all of these things compounded together are going to get you to your goal extremely fast. And we need exercise. Now, the type of exercise I'm going to recommend is to do a combination of walking and high intensity interval training. I'm going to recommend you do walking every single day uh, for a couple different reasons. Number one, it's going to help with weight loss, but number two, it's going to actually help with stress reduction and it's going to help you sleep. And sleep is going to be very important to not just reduce cortisol, but to help enhance growth hormone, which is highest when you're sleeping. That's the main fat burning hormone. And people that don't sleep, I mean, that's like a big barrier to losing weight. You're not going to lose weight if you can't sleep and you can't recover. I had a patient who came in that was trying to lose weight, right? They did exercise. I'm talking like, I think it was two hours of exercise. It might've been three times a week for an entire year. And she lost like one or two pounds the entire year. It was because she wasn't sleeping because all I did is correct her sleep and bam, she lost weight. Another person came in, uh, they were exercising six hours a day. I'm not kidding. Obsessed with exercising. Wasn't sleeping. Didn't lose any weight. We helped her sleep. She started losing weight. So we want the walking to help with the stress reduction to help you sleep. But we also want the high intensity exercise because the intensity is what really